we need to post somewhere for somebody real violence. Real violence. I've I mean, been collecting a lot of that footage. I know, and if you're really, I mean, you're <coughs> studying right now today's real world violence. Absolutely. But instead of just buffering it, I think we need to offer a page of real world violence with a disclaimer, Absolutely. understanding that if you enter this space, you're going to see what it's really like. Yeah. You think you understand violence, you don't. You yeah. don't have any idea what it's like. You don't have any idea what it's like because you've never lived in that blood all over your hands, nasty place right. when you can't think, you, you can't breathe, you can't move, you're frozen in, in space and time. You've never lived there, and if you haven't lived there, understand that when it gets bad, it's going to get really bad. And I'd rather you see that. I know that's going to be part of my teaching program from now on, the reality of, of real. Yeah. I, got, I got some uh, interesting footage. I got the one especially that's really terrifying of a outside uh, security camera of a little, um, you know, a, a fast service store. Big guy, decent looking guy dressed pretty decently, you know, walks in, and there's a guy with his back, he's looking at the lottery tickets over here, and his back's to the door, the guy comes in, holding a butcher knife, you know, he shows the butcher, and he, boom, cuts this guy, and the guy behind the counter is, and he starts heading, you know, to this guy, a little older, heavy set guy behind the counter, and he just walks around that corner, and starts attacking him, and, and this whole thing proceeds, and he's stabbing this guy, and they're struggling, and then a young, brave man comes in from the outside and grabs the guy's arms, you know, to pull him off the guy, and then he sticks this guy, and he comes and he starts slashing this guy, and he's backpedaling, and you know, defensive cuts and all the thing, blood squirt, and he goes on the floor, blood, blood, blood. And uh, you know, we've watched it quite a few times. And the rea the guy carrying a butcher knife, you know, single edge butcher knife, when he went to cut him, he he grabbed him, put his hand on his uh, shirt collar, and goes like this. And I real and you know, if it's an art hero cut, you're gonna get spray right away. Nothing. And the guy just goes like this, and you know, and he looks at the guy, and he runs out of the store. And I thought. He didn't cut him. Why didn't he cut him? He sold that cutting edge there, and you know, watch it, palm down, thumb in. He cut him with a dull edge. He didn't, he didn't even it. cut him. But you know, in that intensity, you know, he, he used the dull edge and didn't affect the guy at all. Scared the shit out of him. Oh, yeah. And then he scared the heck out of me because wow. I saw it too. Yeah, you see that? I yeah. saw the footage. And when the guy goes around the counter, this guy behind, there's a gun right here under the counter. He didn't go for. And he gets up out of the chair. He's in a rolling chair, just like that. He could have used it as a barricade between him and the bad guy. He could have gone over the countertop and the whole thing. It's like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. Bow! And he gets stabbed and he grabs him. And this young guy that comes in from the from laterally runs past the whole section of liquor bottles, full of liquor bottles, mm -hmm. to grab this guy by the arm instead of smashing him in the head with a damn bottle. Yeah. You know, and then he suffered. He really got it bad. I well, mean, artery cuts and the whole thing. There are just we need to show that. I, yeah. And need to give that you wasn't a robbery. That was a murder. Option of seeing what real violence looks like. Absolutely. And um, if we can collect some real world footage, remember when we used to do the gathering and we would show the videos of real knife wounds. Mm -hmm. I mean, violent, terrible knife wounds. Mm -hmm. And was it, it was not used for. This isn't a shock effect. This is what really happens. Yeah. So I can't. I I think I've been training defense, self-defense, or self-protection in a different in a different mindset. I've been and wrong. I think I've been teaching how do you do that after the fact and I want to motivate you to understand your level of intensity needs to go through the roof when you go <laughs> to do that. So it, to motivate you, I'm going to show you some real stuff. Yeah. That's why the concept of the reality-based training and the scenarios, you can't teach people how to fight in an environment unless you Effectively, unless you put them in the environment, and that and, and concept, I mean that that was 20 years ago when I started marrying those two concepts, and and then with that, I mean we got the home. You saw the place. TLM I mean, is we can that. Do everything there. TLM is that. Yeah, TLM is everybody exactly. needs to apply that in all their arts, and, and take what out of the gym, out of the dojo, out of the backyard, out of, and put it in the environments where stuff can happen. Then apply that knowledge and, base and, and evolve it. The, the so the training is done today. Stuff. A lot of the training that's done today, it's it's like teaching people how to swim and they never get wet. Exactly. You, you can give them all kind of theory on dry land, but yeah. until you actually get in the swimming pool and get wet and splash around a little bit, you're not going to understand the environment that you're actually operating right. in. Yeah. You know, I think that's the key. I used to I used to tell everybody, you know, when I taught martial arts, and I was really into teaching fighters. I, I that's how I started training full contact fighters. When I when I trained them, I told them. The very simple thing is, unless you functionalize your art, it won't work. It's like the guy who does level one of Kali 
and thinks he knows how to knife fight, and he gets out there and gets killed within two seconds. Mm -hmm. You, you know? don't functionalize it. That means make it work. <clears throat> work at it. When you learn how to drive a car, you get in the car, you're scared to death. Everything is going to kill you, or you're going to kill everything else. So you're real careful. You pay attention to what's going on. Then you graduate. Oh, God, I can have a cup of coffee while I'm doing this. Oh, now I can drive my car. I can even watch TV while now I'm doing it. Text. Now I can watch TV, <laughs> text, have my coffee, eat a seven-course meal, and make time with the girl sitting next to me. I can do all that while I'm driving. That's how you get better, by functionalizing your life. <coughs> Functionalize your life. Understand self-protection. Understand how to take care of yourself and your family by doing it. By doing it. I only know one person on the planet can do it by reading it, and that's him. <laughs> He's the only person I know that can read it and do it. And, and, and I know quite a few people. He's the only one I know that can read a book and actually do it. So what do you call that? I just finished this book on brain surgery. Is everybody feeling okay? I'm ready. I'm <laughs> <laughs> pretty sure I could do it. Yeah. <laughs> I stayed in the holiday inn last night. I used to stay in the holiday inn in the But that's it. Functionalize your art. Functionalize your life. Functionalize your life by learning how to defend yourself. Do it here. That's what we're here for. Right. We're not trying to sell you something. As a matter of fact, if you take one of the programs, we'll throw in something else. And it's not a sales package. It's a, I, we're trying to help you. You know, and if we don't help you, we'll figure that out too. You can beat up Mark, <laughs> <laughs> or we'll eat the cat. I mean, <laughs> oh, something. Oh, we can't do that. Oh my no, God! No, every be animal for days. person in the world. Yeah. It'll every animal for days. person in the world. No, I love cats. You're about to go get an uh, accused of killing that cat in the raid on the cock ranch. No. <laughs> Honest to God, and it was in uh, Huffington Post news last week. He, you know, he's on that sheriff show. Yeah. They drove a armored police vehicle to this, it would, and it was for a fighting, you know, fighting a rooster place. So they drove all these heavy armored gear, you know, gear in there and the whole thing, and a cat got killed in the assault on this, you know, <laughs> cockfighting ring, and it's like, oh now nah, that's the big thing, he's being charged with animal cruelty. <laughs> and shit, you know, and it's like, nice. you know, a tank, you know. Well, uh, what, I, what we'd like to do, and I'll just make this proposal, what I'd like to do is the judge and the jury that's going to accuse him of that should yeah. lock themselves in a room with him Absolutely. and y'all can have anything you want pick your <laughs> weapon and just let him in there by himself as a matter of fact bind his hands and his legs gag him, him all gag him and <laughs> beat the gag. crap out of him for a half hour before you let him loose and then just turn him in a room yeah. and I guarantee you he'll change your mind yeah. that's you know that's what's wrong with the world. We got to straighten ourselves out. Come on, people, stop being stupid. Get yourself together and, and Wake make up. a difference. Yeah, make Wake a difference up. in your lives. Make a difference, right? Yeah. Now, are we gonna? What are we gonna? Uh, we're gonna do now. We're gonna like drink cheap beer oh. or or expensive beer. We can do Not that. Just <laughs> <laughs> so uh, cut. 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 Good. Perfect. Lovely guy. Fantastic guys. <laughs>